Doppler Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Reed Leibarger. The time is now 5-11. Reed, I'm digging your tan suit. Looks like Thanks. a lawyer. Yeah, special occasions. You look like a lawyer in the summertime. A lawyer in the a summertime? A southern lawyer in the summertime. Where's your hat? Like, you need a hat to go with that. Yeah, that messes up the hair, though. Reed's serious about his hair. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it's a lot of it, but I mean... <laughs> he has more on. than you. Oh, that's true that, yeah. <laughs> you got me on that one, Randy. Zing! <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> told me straight up. Uh, nothing left after that. I got to get a hat, though. Uh, it'd be nice to wear one outside, protect you from all that sun that we're going to be seeing for the next few days. Looking outside right now, it is calm. It is dark. Sun comes up in about one hour. It's going to be a pretty sunrise for you, and your temperatures mild. Dew point continuing to climb, and so are those temperatures. It is 62 degrees as you leave the house this morning. Yesterday afternoon, we hit 86, one degree above normal. Low got down to 57. I hope you enjoyed that. Just about done with the 50s and our forecast. Things looking much warmer from here on out. Your live storm track Doppler radar sweeping around this morning. Dry morning. So we have been dry since Sunday. You saw that rain Saturday. Sunday dry. Yesterday was dry. Monday was. Today, another one. It is going to be nice and sunny all day long. You don't need that rain jacket. You don't need that umbrella. You can bring those back later this week. You can see the entire Mid-South here is bone dry, not a cloud in the sky. An absolutely gorgeous day outside. It will be another one if you do like those warmer temperatures especially. Your current temperatures, lower 60s, not really much in the way of 50s out there. I don't think any of us are, so it is a mild start out there compared to yesterday. About 5 to 10 degrees warmer, so that humidity increasing really having an effect on those morning temperatures. Afternoon high is going to be maybe another degree or two warmer than we were yesterday, up near 87, 88 degrees in tomorrow morning. Humidity still continuing to have its impact on our low temperatures. Add on another degree. So our temperatures for the next few days adding on a degree or two at a time. It is just a very slow, slow climb to the end of the week when a lot of us might see that first 90 degree temperature of the year. Upper level clouds, that's all you got going for you today and tomorrow. And on Friday, you see for the next few days, that future tracker looks almost identical with high pressure situated off to our east, which brings your winds out of the south. Sunny skies, warm temperatures, so you got to get used to this for the next few days. Make sure if you drink outside or if you work outside, you drink plenty of water. If you drink outside, drink plenty of water too. It's going to be nice and sunny with those winds out of the southwest. A little humid, especially by the end of the week. High temperatures up near 90. This weekend, some spotty showers come back late on Saturday afternoon. Looks like Sunday will be the rainy day with showers and storms. Gradually drying out early next week as those temperatures rebound back near 90. Thank you, Reed. As yards begin to dry out, your neighbors across the Arklamas are finally able to clear debris from the season's severe storms. And for folks in Monroe, Public Works is giving you a helping hand. NBC 10's Brian Briggs has all the details. As the weather warms up and dries out, debris piles are popping up all over Monroe as residents clean up from the season's storms. If you have debris, Public Works wants to help you out. Mr. Janeway and I would go through the city, we would see that there were a lot of fallen trees, a lot of yard debris, so we felt that it was time to implement that section of the ordinance that allows us to, you know, go outside the normal pickup. The temporary ordinance allows you to stack debris on your lawn without being punished. The normal trash ordinance limits residents to two cubic yards. But anything in excess, you get, we will be get, you know, get a citation, a red door tag, and ask for removal, we take you to uh, environmental court. But due to the amount of debris from this season's storms, the city is relaxing this ordinance temporarily. No more, no red door tags for month of May. Now Monroe Public Works has put this policy into effect immediately, and it runs through the end of the month. They'll be coming by during their normal business hours to pick up tree branches, grass clippings, or any biological waste or storm damage. That being said, there are a few rules residents still need to keep in mind. This uh, increase in the volume that we're going to be uh, picking up is for yard debris only. That means no furniture or any other household items considered trash. Residents are also required to stack debris in four foot sections and limb length should be no more than four feet. In Monroe, Brian Briggs, NBC 10, your local news leader. Now through June 13th, make sure you enter your yard in the Twin City Outdoor Yard of the Week contest. Weekly winners are announced each Friday, and one of them will get the grand prize, which includes a new Gravely ZTR mower, a steel comb system, and a Hobie fishing kayak, all worth about $6,000. Enter by going to myarchimus.com and clicking on the contest tab. 
We've got an all-new Interact newscast for all the stories everyone's talking about in the Arklamist. It's called News Feed Now. You can only see it online at myarklamist.com at 11 a.m. every weekday morning. News Feed Now is a streaming newscast that goes behind the scenes of all the stories trending on social media. Join in on the conversation with Aaron Nolan. Watch it weekdays at 11 on myarklamist.com or the NBC10 app. All right, coming up next on NBC10 today, a health alert to warn you about. That's right. If you're older, you should no longer take aspirin as a way to prevent stroke and heart disease. We'll tell you why after the break.